Abby. This is Dr. Abby Adeleke again with Hanging Out with Dr. Abby. And um, uh, over the last uh, few days, um, I, I have to be honest with you, I've been emotionally drained. And you say, well, what's, what's, what's going on? Why are you emotionally drained? I'm, I'm glad you asked me. Uh, and and I'm, I'm of Nigerian descent, of African descent, um, you know, born, raised in England, but I have Nigerian parents. And there's been so many stories that have come out about uh, spousal abuse and uh, not even within the context of marriage, not that that makes it any better, but also within the context of uh, boyfriend, girlfriend relationships that are not even, they're not even married yet. It's not that it makes it any better when they're married. And uh, it's got me thinking because part of what you keep hearing is uh, a lot of these women cannot afford to 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 go out on their own they they don't have that financial empowerment they don't have the money to you know to take their kids and run and things like that and it got me thinking about uh, uh something that i have a passion about and which i've always had a passion about and that's financial empowerment and if there's somebody anybody that knows me very well knows that financial empowerment is something that is near and dear to my heart uh, uh, for so many reasons that I'm not going to get into in this uh, particular recording. And so it got me going back to picking up this book called uh, Smart Women Finish Rich. And it's by David Bach. Uh, I think that's how you s pronounce his name. And, and part of that, this book, is, is, it, it's, it's, it's not dependent on how much money you have, but what you do with the money that you have. Uh, because you may say, well, you don't have money, and uh, I can tell you stories for days of of situations that I have been in, and in those situations, uh, there were dire situations, and uh, uh, there were tough situations, but there were situations that, as I look back now, I just, um, I smile, and I laugh, because, uh, you know, God, God, and I believe in God, so God has brought me through to this situation, but not just God, there have been some, some things that I have had to do financially, there have been some decisions I've had to make financially, and there's been some things I've had to deny myself financially. Uh, I, I, I was telling somebody a couple of days ago, I said, um, a few years ago, probably about 13 years ago, I was in Paris. Uh, and I was in the Louis Vuitton store. I remember very well. Uh, the security guard was by the door and, you know, everything else. And I walked into that store. I was working in Zurich at the time. And I saw this Louis Vuitton purse. It was 600 euro. I remember vividly like it was yesterday. And I carried the purse. I stood by the mirror. I, I you know, I looked at it. I, you know, I put it on. It looked nice on me and everything else. But I could not bring myself to to put 600, 600 euros back then. This is about 13, 15 years ago, 20, 2007. But I could not bring myself to put 600 euros on a purse. I just couldn't. You know, so I was like, oh, yeah, you just buy it. But at the back of my mind, I said, man, what I could do with this money, uh, uh, you know, and I know Louis Vuitton has a great resale value and things like that. But in more recent years, I could go to the real, real dot com. And not that I'm making any advertising for them. And I could buy it used. And, you know, you won't know because it holds its value very well. But at that point in time, I just could not bring myself to to put that kind of money on uh, on a purse. And, and, and as I looked at it, there have been so many things that, that I've had to deny myself about uh, that I, I would love to have those things, but, uh, but, but the time is not yet. The time wasn't ripe for me. And, and so even, even as much as eating out, I hardly ever eat out. I'm just talking about as women, uh, maybe there's a need for us to begin to put some of our money to the side. Uh, not that there's going to ever be anything wrong with our relationships, God forbid, but you know, stuff happens, you know, like they say, SHIT happens. And what, what if something happens and you have to go on your own and you don't have anywhere to go? Would you now stay with the abuser? And we found out that during the COVID period, uh, the uh, uh, pandemic, a lot of people had to stay with their abusers because they had nowhere to go. So my encouragement to women is, you know, women, you know, watch out for your money. You know, that money that you spend on uh, Starbucks, that Starbucks you got to have every day. Maybe you don't need to have it every day. Maybe you need to have it maybe three times a week, maybe once in a while as a treat. Uh, save your money, make your lunch, make your breakfast and things like that. And just start saving your money and putting your money 
in a place that when if ever there's a situation that you need to come across the money and you need to use the money you can use the money and you know and even and i say i shared my story because there's a power in storytelling uh, now, if I wanted to buy Louis Vuitton purse, I, I probably can put my money on it, but I, I, I don't know that I need to prove anything to anybody by carrying a Louis Vuitton purse, seriously speaking. Uh, and, uh, uh, but I, I think it's nice, you know, if it's your thing, go ahead and buy it. Uh, but I just feel like, and there have been over the years when I've had to deny myself uh, over the period of time of certain things, and I had to do that deliberately because uh, I, I kind of looked at the fact that, you know, I have kids you know retirement is coming at some point you know and and but then and, and I want to be comfortable and so I, I just felt like you know this past few days has reignited the passion in me for women's empowerment let's talk let's talk where are you putting your money what must you have everything must you buy that thing must you buy it now must you buy you know or do we need to save money? Do we need to teach our daughters to be to be great stewards of their money? Do we need to teach our ladies and our daughters that they need to have their own money? And I said it. I did. I said it. And if you want to come after me, come after me. But I think everybody should have their own money. If I wanted to buy a Louis Vuitton purse today, I don't need to. I don't think I need to talk to my partner to say that. Oh, is it okay for me as long as I do work? Uh, and I, I, if I wanted to do that, I, I, I want to do it. And, and you know, I, I, I'll let you know as my partner, but I'm not going to ask you for permission for when I do work. And it may sound radical, you know, please don't come after me. It may sound radical, but that's just how I feel about it. I always feel like everybody should have their money. I'm teaching my daughter to have her money. You know, granted, she will get married someday. And even my sons, but have your own money. Have something that is in your own name. That if you want to spend it you know of course with wisdom and with reason if you want to spend it spend it but don't be don't be a, a slave to somebody because you cannot afford to be to to stand by yourself or because you cannot afford uh to to pay for things or your rent by yourself don't be a slave to somebody don't don't let people kill you and don't and and you know what people will come after me they'll say oh yeah you're teaching you know women to be this and now i'm not teaching them to be disobedient i'm teaching them to be smart you know and and this book says smart women finish rich i mean that's not even the analogy but i'm just saying that you know what they, th this time has come now that you know whether it's something that you're studying from you know your you're in front of your house in the context of like a nigeria you're selling buying and selling and things like that uh we don't need to buy everybody's ashwebi sorry I, i'm sorry you don't need to buy everybody's uniform uh you, you can wear what you have at home you don't you know so but this is time for us to have some self-discipline in our own case as women uh, i'm not condoning abuse abuse in any form is is immoral is wrong people that are abusers whether they're male or female need to be brought to justice but all i'm saying is that let's teach our children let's teach ourselves let's reinvent ourselves and and look after our money let's be people who have money in our own name uh, uh, I, I'm just heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for all the stories I've read on social media the last few days. Uh, I'm just heartbroken. But can we do something about it? Yes. Can you leave the, the presence for a minute, for, for a period of time from the abuser? Yes. But don't let the only reason why you don't leave is because you cannot afford to leave. Uh, please don't do that to yourself. Don't don't let then then let don't let us keep carrying people out in coffins. Don't let us keep carrying people out in coffins for sake of love. Uh, love shouldn't hurt. Love shouldn't hurt. Go back and read the Bible if that's your thing. Go back and read the Quran if that's your thing. Just go back and read. But love love doesn't hurt. Love shouldn't hurt. Should, people should not be dying in all in the name of love. They shouldn't. Um, I, I'm sorry, I know this video is kind of, and this recording is kind of uh, a little bit longer, but uh, I just I just wanted to say how I feel. I wanted to say how I feel. And until the next time that we come together and, uh, you know, listen, watch another episode of Hanging Out with Dr. Abby Adeleke. This is Dr. Abby saying, God bless you guys and ladies. Shalom.